children badly injured after falling from a Ferris wheel at a, country, or at a county fair in Tennessee. We have learned that the company who owns the ride was also cited for an accident at the North Carolina State Fair. CBS North Carolina investigates Jonathan Rodriguez is in the studio with what he's uncovered. Jonathan. Well, Sharon, we knew the name sounded familiar. And even though this morning, Greenville, Tennessee police said the company involved was not tied to the North Carolina incident, public records are showing otherwise. In 2013, five people were sent to the hospital after being thrown off the Vortex ride at the North Carolina State Fair. I'm at the State Fairgrounds. You've got to get somebody out here quick. Family Attractions Amusement Company, based out of Georgia, was initially cited for the incident by the state and by OSHA. Dominic and Ruby Macaroni own that company. Their attorney fought the charges, saying Family Attractions was not the owner of the Vortex ride. It was their son, Joshua. Even though this Department of Labor report shows an inspection for the Vortex ride was paid for by Ruby. As for for the Tennessee incident, this report filed with the state shows that Family Attractions Amusements based in Valdosta, Georgia, is the ride owner. We pulled that business license, which is in fact registered to Dominique Macaroni. Now, free shouts to the company's former attorney for comment have not heard back yet. We also checked with the North Carolina State Fair officials. They say that company will not have rides at this year's State Fair. Sean. Jonathan, thank you.